Okay guys, so good evening, good morning, good afternoon. So depende kung anong oras nyo i-access tong video na to. Ayan. So welcome to our first lecture, which is our first topic is what do you call the indefinite integral? So what do you mean by indefinite? So indefinite guys is the opposite of definite. So exact, oh baga ito ay inexact, baga synonym ng indefinite. Okay, so I have here some basic terms and definitions na ma-encounter natin or you need to know as we go along with our course, okay? So, let's start with, I hope pala guys na you view your or you're done with the intro to our course. So, yung video natin about the intro ng integration. So, integration of course, it means the area under the curve. Okay, so hopefully guys, natapos nyo na yun before we proceed with this one. Okay, so let's start. So I have here uh, uh, the word which is anti-differentiation. So, kita nyo naman dito. So, anti-differentiation means it is the process of finding the anti-derivative. So, of course, when you added the word anti, so it means opposite. So, alam naman natin, or if you're under, or if you're my student during the past semester sa differential calculus, of course, Anti-derivative means the opposite of derivative or the inverse of derivative. So, yun lang. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Okay. So, dito, mababag, magkakaroon tayo ng symbol. Which is ito. Kita nyo naman ito. No? So, ito nga na ito. Ayan. So, parang somehow resembles a snake. Somehow. So, ang tawag dito is the integral sign. Of course. So, in Latin words, so bakit ganyan yung tura nyan? It means summa or in short sum. So, yung sign na to is first uh, introduced by Leibniz. Ayan. So, si Leibniz nag-invent ng symbol na yan. Okay. Then, another is may tinatawag tayong C. Ayan. So, letter C or uppercase letter C. So, ang tawag dito is the constant of integration. So, every time so, mag-usulog tayo ng integration or antiderivative, so, inyalagay natin yung at the end of each uh, formula. Okay. Okay, so here, so kita natin. So we have here the first force. We start with the basic. So ito yung mga basic integration formulas na. So I have here five of the basic integration formulas na kailangan or you need to study. Okay? So first, we have the integral of du is equals to u plus c. Of course, so yung c, yun, nga, yun yung uh, constant of integration. Then, for number 2, so we have the integral of u, or uh, op open parenthesis u plus v, close parenthesis dx. So, ang integration yan, guys, is ito. So, kung pansin nyo, uh, it's just a distributive property. So, ang ginawa, the, the integral sign in the dx was uh, distributed dun sa function u and function Of course, u and v is function yun, guys. So, distribute. Ayan. So, yung integral of u dx plus integral of v dx. So, yan yung naging uh, resulting uh, formula na. Of course, at the end of, after nyo ma-integrate yan, magdadagdag kayo ulit ng c or constant of integration. Okay? Next, so, the integral of a u dx. So, of course, yung a natin dito, guys, so, is a constant. So, if you encounter a constant dun sa ating uh, function, so, inilalabas natin yun. So, any constant na nandun sa function is taken out of the integral sign. So, that's why, mas madali. Or we can easily do with the integration. So, if we pull out the constant symbol. Yun. So, the integral now is A, integral sign, course, yung U, function yun, dx. So, you can just take this uh, integral or the antiderivative simply. Okay, guys? Next, we have number 4, which is the integral of u raised to a certain exponent n. Okay, so, ang integral niyan, guys, of du, sorry, so, uh, integral of u n du is equals to, uh, the integral is u n plus 1. So, over n plus 1. So, of course, kung ano yung 
a a ano ito ano yung collision di exponent i add one okay, over ko yung dinagdag niyo dito i divide niyo ngayon sa baba so plus c so this formula is often called as the power formula so ito yung opposite so if you remember our your derivative so ito yung opposite di ba dati pag nagdi-derive tayo you subtract one di ba so this time so to get the antiderivative so you add one so n plus one over n plus one okay plus c of course a constant of integration but here if you notice meron tayong restriction which is yung n mo should not be equal to negative one why why do you think guys because of course if you add or if you uh, add plus one dito so magiging zero yung denominator and any number divided by zero will result to an undefined okay so and may undefined function that's why hindi mo pwedeng ikunin yung uh, if you cannot perform power formula if your n is negative one okay so next lastly so ito yung uh, sa mga pa, very special case formula so of course uh, tawag dito is logarithmic formula din Ayan. logarithmic formula so the integral of du over u is equals to ln or ln depende sa inyo paano niyo binabasa yan so ln of u plus c so ganun lang siya kasimple so of course ito guys these are the five basic formula so kumbaga sabi ko these are the foundations so you need to master this guys okay